Hello there YouTube. Today I'll be coming to you with a video on showing you how to return your Samsung Captivate to uh, factory settings. This will unroot your phone. This will restore all the AT&T bloatware that came on your phone when you bought it. Everything will be as it was. As it was out of the box. The program we'll be using is called Odin 3 One Click Downloader and they also provide the drivers if you need them. Alright, well, first thing you're going to want to do is come in here. If you do not have the drivers that you're going to need, you need to come down to here where it says drivers. If you have 64-bit windows, download 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, download 32-bit. Alright, what you're going to want to do Scroll on down, after you have the drivers installed, click right here on this link. And as you'll see down there, it is downloading the file we're going to need. It is going to be a zip file, or I'm sorry, a rare file. Alright, once that gets finished downloading, I already have it, so let me cancel this. Oops. Alright, let's close that up. Uh, you'll see I have it there. Just double click and open it if you have one wrong. And then just drag it onto your desktop. Which that'd be it right there. Okay. One step that I noticed that it says in the description on there is when you gotta run this, right click. This is if you're using Windows 7 run as administrator seems to help it run a little better and this is what you're going to get okay now I'm going to show you the uh, proper steps to take to put your uh, Captivate into download mode once we have the phone connected and then download mode we'll come here and click start it's that easy so now I'm going to switch to my tripod and uh, show you how to uh, put your phone in download mode. Alright, now let me show you how to put your phone into download mode. Alright. Just to prove to everybody that I'm not on stock right now. This is the Franken Twist by Eugene373. Let me show you. I do not have any bloatware in here. That's all I have on here. And there's the super user. And there you go. Alright. Okay, now what we're going to want to do turn your phone off. Once it's powered down, go ahead and take the back off. Remove the battery. Remove the SIM card. Oops. Don't want to lose that. Remove your SD card. Got them dropping everything. Just set those to the side. Okay. <coughs> Now you have to make sure you have those drivers installed because if you don't this will not work. Okay. Now once all that is removed, go ahead and put your battery back in. Alright. What we want to do is hold both of our volume rockers down at the same time. Don't touch the power button. Just hold the volume rockers down and insert the USB cable and wait. That is download mode. It's that simple. So you just hold both volume rockers down and insert the uh, USB cord and you'll be here. 
Now if you get a screen with a bunch of letters, you've done it wrong, turn your phone back off and try it again. On the uh, page for Odin, one click downloader, there'll be three different steps on how to put your phone into a uh, download. For the Captivate, this seems to be the best way, at least for me. Step one or two may work for you, but I believe this was step three in the list. So, try this one out. If it doesn't work, refer to those lists and see which one will work for you. One of them will work for you. It's just a matter of which one. So, take everything out. <coughs> Both volume rockers down at the same time. Insert USB cable and bam. Download mode. Alright. Now let me get back off the tripod so you can see what's going on with my computer screen as well as my phone. So be right back. Alright, picking up. Phone's still on download mode. Everything's out of my phone. And if you look here at Odin 3, you'll see that it picked up my phone. That'll be yellow. And then it'll say added. Okay. If it's not looking like this, be sure this, that Odin is running before you put it in download mode. Simply, like I said, right click, run as administrator, and then once Odin is open on your screen like this, then put your phone into download mode. And then it should pick it up. If it doesn't pick it up, <coughs> leave your phone in download mode. Simply unplug the USB cable and plug it back in, and then it should pick you up. But if you have not installed the drivers, it won't do it. Okay, now the easy part. Once everything is on here, click start. And this is what you'll get. Let's start seeing all that. Meanwhile, your phone will get a progress bar going across. And up here, this will be doing its thing. Just be patient, this does take a minute. And it should just be close to being done. Me. All right, now my phone just powered off. Now let's see the magic. You'll know it worked. And this is saying reset up here. Okay. All right, it's doing it something there. Turn back off. Okay, it's rebooting. <coughs> Just be patient. And you will notice that that is the factory boot sequence. We'll just give it a minute. It will take a minute to load. Like I said, it always takes a little bit to load the first time you do something like this to your phone. <coughs> and this up here is still going to be saying, it'll be saying remove down here, reset, and you'll have the green bar. That'll change in just a minute.
any minute now. And there we go. That's almost lighted up. No SIM card in the phone. Well, it's on locker. Run a media scanner, which is going to be slow again. Meanwhile, well, let's come click right there. Or not. Let's let media scanner around. You'll notice everything is back to normal. How strange. Okay. You notice this stay the same. The last time I had this, I just unplug it. See what happens. It says pass. That means everything went smooth. Alright. Now well, let's try this again. Applications. Oops. You'll notice all oh, the AT&T bloatware is back. Where it should be. does allow you to uh, qualify to receive the 2.2 uh, whenever a, uh, Samsung releases it for this phone. And uh, so there you go. Uh, any questions feel free to ask. Please uh, write and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And uh, let me know if I missed anything. If you have any trouble just let me know. Alright y'all have y'all a good day.